Okay, excellent. So, um, good morning. It's a pleasure to welcome you all here at the Bruno Kreisky Forum for International uh, Dialogue in uh, Bruno Kreisky's uh, private home, as you all might know. Um, it was his private home, but uh, also always a place for exchange and meeting people. And now, and after Kreisky's death, it was transformed into this um, uh, Institute for International Dialogue. So thanks for hosting us here uh, for these two days. Um, it's really a pleasure to welcome you all in presence. I think that's the first and uh, most important point. And at the same time, it might be a little bit strange because, I mean, we have a conference on, uh, on the digital space and, uh, uh, and new media, but... Uh, after a few discussions in, on the, <laughs> our team, uh, we decided to have the conference on the digital space in presence because we thought it might make sense uh, after two years of uh, the coronavirus to come together again and not only to have uh, discussions on Zoom or other platforms, uh, but also have discussions in between during the lunch break, during the coffee breaks, afterwards maybe, over dinner, whatever, in the morning now, over coffee, and it's, that it might also make sense to enjoy this beautiful garden here uh, of Christ Cree in the breaks, uh, etc. Um, at the same time, we noticed that uh, things have changed, of course, due to Corona. So I think it's uh, it's uh, uh, we all tend to uh, uh, be a little bit more flexible and uh, and cancel on last uh, on last minute um, uh, if if it comes to conferences and stuff like that. So there were some cancellations even this morning. Uh, unfortunately, but okay, this is um, how it is. Uh, I think we still have a great, interesting um, and broad program uh, covering um, these topics. So especially thanks to you um, that you are here today and you joined us uh, for this conference in uh, present. And thanks also again to the Bruno Kreisky Forum that gives us here the real uh, space for this uh, scholarly uh, exchange. Thanks also to the um, Wiener Wiesenthal Institute for Holocaust uh, uh, Studies. My, by the way, my name is Dirk Rupno. I'm professor at the Department of Contemporary History at the University of uh, Innsbruck. I also have the pleasure to serve on the International Academic Advisory Board of the um, Wiesenthal Institute and to chair it at the moment. Um, so it's a great collaboration. Thanks to Eva and uh, Marianne and, um, uh, and Miriam. Um, we also have to thank um, different sections, so to say, of the University of Innsbruck, who gave us funding, the Vice Rectorate for Research, our research focus on uh, um, um, on culture, uh, the um, Faculty for Philosophy and uh, History, the Institute for Contemporary History, and most importantly, the Zukunftsfonds of the Republic of Austria, so the so-called Future Fund of the, sounds a little bit strange, Future Fund, um, the Zukunftsfonds of the Republic uh, of uh, Austria, who gave us uh, generous support uh, for this um, conference. Um, you are all very well aware that we are, I think, in an uh, important phase or transformative phase, I think, of uh, uh, Holocaust uh, uh, memory. Um, and there are many different aspects. I mean, I don't want to go into it in, uh, in great detail, but the last eyewitnesses will be gone very soon, of course, although we talk about it for many decades already. Uh, at the same time, debates on the global meaning and significance of Holocaust memory came up, especially in the last, um, in the last two years. And although they are on the global meaning and uh, significance on the Holocaust, they also touch on questions how we um, handle Holocaust memory in our very diverse uh, 
societies also in Europe, uh, for example, also in Austria, Germany, uh, etc. Um, at the same time, um, and that's hard to predict, but I would be surprised uh, if the war on Ukraine, which is of course full of uh, historical, uh, um, uh, of, of uh, history of politics, so to say, uh, politics of history, um, on the contrary, um, it would be a surprise if this war in Ukraine has no effect on, uh, on our understanding uh, of the Holocaust and uh, how Holocaust <coughs> memory works um, and so on. At the same time, um, on top of these generational changes and these uh, uh, changes in the understanding of the Holocaust, there is a medial change, of course, going on. Um, connected to uh, virtuality, digitality, um, and so on. And this is the focus uh, here of our uh, conference together with the ERIAT um, network. Um, thanks again to the team that put it all together, which is Eva Fanzelter. You will see her um, at the end here. <laughs> Uh, Eva Kovac from the Wiesenthal Institute, Marianne Wiensberger, Miriam Wilhelm, um, Brigitte Heidler, Alex Renner, and Silvia Eller from our department uh, in Innsbruck. And now it's a real pleasure uh, to hand it over to Ursula Brustmann from the uh, Ministry of uh, Education and Research. Uh, uh, science and research, sorry, no education. Um, <laughs> science and research. Um, uh, she is a strong supporter of the ERIAT uh, network, and this is why she took the time to come here this uh, morning to say a few words. Please. Thank you. Um, a very warm welcome to Vienna for all the international guests. But I will now speak in German. <laughs> Ähm, herzlich willkommen. Vielen Dank, dass Sie hier so zahlreich gekommen sind. Für mich als äh, Vertreterin des Ministeriums ist das ein ganz positives Zeichen dafür, dass dieses ERI-AT-Konsortium die ersten starken vitalen Lebenszeichen von sich gibt. Wir haben ungefähr zwei oder drei Jahre jetzt an diesem nationalen Konsortium gearbeitet, gemeinsam mit der Scientific Community. Und wir als Ministerium bemühen uns sehr, die Rahmenbedingungen zu schaffen, damit in den Geistes-, Sozial- und Kulturwissenschaften gut geforscht werden kann. Und einer der wichtigen Pfeiler in diesem Rahmen sind die Forschungsinfrastrukturen, die europäischen Forschungsinfrastrukturen. Und eine dieser Forschungsinfrastrukturen ist eben ERI. Und damit wir in Europa anschlussfähig sind, ist es ja notwendig, dass das nationale Konsortium stark ist und gut aufgestellt ist. Und ich denke, dass das jetzt zu einem Zeitpunkt schon sehr fortgeschritten ist. Denn wenn ich vergleiche, in anderen europäischen Ländern sind die nationalen Konsortien noch nicht so weit. Und warum weiß ich das? Weil ich in den europäischen Gremien bin, bei ERI auf europäischer Ebene und wir haben jetzt Anfang Mai wieder ein Meeting gehabt mit den Koordinatoren in Amsterdam. NIAD koordiniert ja ERI auf europäischer Ebene und ähm, ich musste ein wenig geduldiger sein, weil für mich war es schon salopp gesagt ein bisschen langweilig, weil da das so lang dauert, bis sich das europäisch formiert. Und darum bin ich umso stolz auf das nationale Konsortium, weil das hat wirklich hervorragend funktioniert. Und unsere Aufgabe ist es eben auch hier, ähm, Unterstützung und Empowerment zu geben und natürlich auch die finanzielle Unterstützung zu geben. Also wir finanzieren natürlich in Zukunft den Mitgliedsbeitrag, selbstverständlich. Und jetzt in der Anfangsphase finanzieren wir auch die Koordinierungskosten, die eben entstehen bei so einem Unterfangen. Und ich freue mich sehr, dass wir da so kooperativ und gut zusammenarbeiten. Und daher bin ich sehr froh, dass ERI AT so aktiv und erfolgreich ist und wünsche mir und Ihnen, dass das weiterhin so bleibt. Und für diese Konferenz, für diese schöne zweitägige Konferenz, leider werde ich nicht die ganze Zeit da sein können, weil ich auch noch etwas im Büro zu tun habe. 
Aber ich wünsche Ihnen jedenfalls viele interessante Erfahrungen, auch Begegnungen, was ja jetzt sehr, sehr abgegangen ist und ähm, hoffe, dass Sie auch das zum Netzwerken nützen können in diesem wunderbaren Garten und in diesem schönen Haus hier. Und auch ich bedanke mich beim Kreisky Forum für die Gastfreundschaft und natürlich dem Veranstaltungsteam für die Organisation dieser sehr interessanten Konferenz. Vielen Dank und einen schönen Tag. Schöne Tage. Morgen ist es ja auch noch. Dankeschön. Ich werde keine große Rede halten. Uh, uh, I would like to summarize a couple of uh, uh, yeah, a couple of interests we have in within the IRI, IRI AT and the IRI universe. So Uh, my name is Eva Kovac and I'm the Deputy Director of Academic Affairs at the um, Vienna Wiesenthal Institute for Holocaust Studies and also responsible for the IRI uh, project uh, within the Institute. So the mission of the European Holocaust Research, Research Infrastructure concerns transnational Holocaust research, memory and uh, dissemination. IRI's greatest challenge is the uh, wide dispersion of original sources and specialist knowledge uh, across many institutions, as you know. IRI has been working since 2010, so we are 12 uh, years old now, to overcome the fragmentation and this uh, dislocation of knowledge about the Holocaust and to connect materials, institutions, and researchers. And researchers were, were, were the, ra were the la last point, but I think they are the most important in the game. The possibilities of research, networking, med med mediatization, and representation of digital data in virtual space have opened up new research paradigms, as uh, uh, Dirk also mentioned, in Holocaust research and its dissemination. And it needs to be regarded as transnational, transcultural, digital, and interdisciplinary. IRI has adopted uh, the digital transformation processes from the fields of digital history and digital humanities and sees itself as, a, as an engine of new digital methods and tools. And I think you sent uh, amazing proposals to discuss uh, this in details. Aside from the potential of uh, uh, mobile technology, IRI understands itself as a scholarly infrastructure for people connecting various ex ex uh, expertise from the field of Holocaust research and dissemination across disciplines and institutions and beyond national uh, uh, logics and politics of history in a long-term and sustainable manner. Um, and now I just want to list the uh, IRIATE institutions Uh, as uh, uh, Frau Brusmann uh, uh, also uh, uh, said, we have a beautiful group of uh, uh, different uh, um, um, stakeholders and institutions from Austria. Uh, first of all, the Austrian Center for Digital Humanities and Cultural Heritage, then the Center for Jewish Studies at the University of Graz, then the Documentation Center for of Austrian Resistance, Rindernate, Institute for Jewish History in Austria, uh, uh, Place for Learning and Remembrance, uh, uh, Schloss Hartheim, University of Innsbruck, and National, na na National Fund uh, and the Rep uh, of the Rep Republic of Austria for Victims of National uh, Socialism, and the Vienna Vienna Institute for Holocaust Studies. And as, I, as far as I know, uh, from all institutions we have Uh, representatives here in the program. So this is our very first uh, international workshop. So I'm really proud and happy to have this uh, in, in this beautiful cooperation. And I'm sure that it is really a, uh, the be uh, beginning of a beautiful friendship among us. So I wish you a very, very successful workshop for the next two days. Finally, Eva Fanzelter from the Institute of Contemporary History at the University of Innsbruck. Thank you, Eva. I'm, we are very proud to be able to host or to be the host of the first Area T conference. Uh, we know each other, or most of us know each other from digital space, at least as a minimum from social media. And so this is my uh, first um, request to you, or actually I will ask you to share uh, on Connected Histories, on Twitter, on Whatever you want, uh, we, are we will try to collect these um, voices that go out there and create some kind of a bubble so that we know in which bubble we are in. <laughs> um, 
digital space, a digital place. Uh, at this point where we are standing, we've heard from our colleagues before, we don't know, is it, yeah, is it the wisdom of the crowd that will prevail, or are we actually really in the, in the uh, drags of the, of the drolls, as a German historian has called it. Uh, we will see um, the digital space is highly contested. It is a space for discussion, hopefully it's also a, a place for meeting. And this is why I also think it is a good opportunity to meet online, but also in person here. Um, again, I would like to thank all of you for coming. I would like to thank my colleagues, my colleague Dirk Rupner from Innsbruck, Eva, Miriam, Marianne, where is Miriam? She's taking photos. Thank you very much, and also the Bruno Kreisky Forum, which has been very helpful. Uh, um, we have had some very big changes, last minute changes. As you know, our helping hand, Alex, uh, unfortunately had to stay at home. Uh, so we are improvising as we go a little bit, so please be patient <laughs> with us if some things don't go as planned. One, is the one of the first things is that the, that the folders actually didn't arrive. Uh, so for now, um, we hope they come during the day, but for now, if you uh, want to program, it's on the QR code up here, and there are small leaflets out there. So we hope you can still join us here and follow. Um, we have um, a lot of... Yeah, meeting spaces you could see. Coffee is, uh, take it as you go. Uh, we will meet uh, outside also, I hope. Um, hmm? Oh, exactly. We have, we know there was also some misunderstanding in the hotel. Our colleagues from Innsbruck are trying to sort this out, but from what it looks like, the, the hotel unfortunately is not very flexible, so it looks like you really have to pay for your stay here and then send us the bill, uh, along with your travel uh, reimbursement things. Yes? I think they placed it later in the day because when we checked in in the evening, we didn't have to pay. <laughs> 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 but I checked in at 9.30 and... Can we in at 10? <laughs> <laughs> really? So, see? <laughs> okay, so everybody who checked in after, t after 9.30. <laughs> For the others, please, we, we will sort this out somehow. I, it's a matter of talking and discussion. Okay, anything else? I think we have everything. That's it. Um, one last thing, maybe I was hoping to present my book here, but I think I'm just gonna go to publish this online because it's not going to happen from what it looks like. It would have been, or it is about Holocaust discourses on websites and social media, so I'm looking forward to it and I hope to be able to present it on a later date. <laughs> Yes. Okay, thank you all very much, and I invite the panelists from the first panel to come on stage. Thank you.